Hello there, this is Christian, back at my computer and uh, Fusion for 60. And today we're not doing rapid modeling, so I will try to slow down myself and my speech and my modeling. The thing we want to do is on the left, this is from a Facebook question. This drawing is from uh, studycadcam.com, complete with some different drawings and stuff on. Uh, and this is like a yeah, geometric thing. Uh, there are missing dimensions in the drawing, and there are some dimensions that are too much. We do not know the full size of a cube, or uh, in other words, uh, the distance from here or the distance from here, yeah, the distance from here to here to a corner, or from here to here to a corner, or any other corners here. That dimension is missing. We can guess it, which I'm going to do. I'm guessing it's 20, because it's a 10 wide. That yeah, it should be 10 there, and there. so the full cube should be 80. It's uh, 60 here. It's hard to read, uh, and we have a radius here that's 20, and there's a radius of 10 there. That 10 radius is a bit not necessary because if the radius is 20 here and the width of the tube running around is 10, then yeah, there's a 10 millimeter radius. Uh, sometimes dimension this can be a bit confusing on uh, an isometric view, isometric view like this. But we're going to do this and we're going to start doing some uh, parameters. We're going to start with a uh, cube side. I like to define the cube. I'm going to do that 80. We are going to define our tube width. That's going to be a 10. I need to see the numbers on my keyboard. And we have a tube radius. I'm only going to do the outer radius. That's 20. And we have a tube, tube side. And that's going to be 40. I get that from that this is 60 and we reduce it with 20 so the side here this tube side here needs to be 40 and let's see let's see let's see let's see uh, I really need one more that's I'm gonna extrude this down here this line here or uh, the, the body here I'm gonna work the sketch up here and extrude things and then use other tools in fusion to complete the body so I need to know what this is how much you want to extrude this one. Let's do this as a calculator parameter. Cube extrude, let's call it that. That's gonna be cube side. And reduce it with uh, the spare cube side. Minus minus sorry, Swedish and everything. Uh tube side. But not all of that divided by two. So what I'm calculating here is the full side of a cube minus the full side of a cube minus the length here and that little thing divided by 2 because we have that spacing on both sides. That, sh that should really be easier to calculate now. If you have a better idea, please leave a comment. Uh, calc. Uh, I like to put calc after things. I know I'm a calculator so I don't not happen to mess around with those parameters. And we can do it like this. If we only want to have our fancy parameters and hard user parameters, so we only see our favorite parameters, which we're going to change. And by that, we can start modeling. We're going to create a new component. And as I'm lazy, I'm just going to call it part. It's very easy. We're going to start. I like to model around the origin point. Let's turn it on. I like to have this point in the middle of the body. It makes it easier to do some things I'm going to do. and it also helps my brain to think. Uh, we're going to open that. We're going to open up this so we can see things here later. We can turn on that later. Yes, there it is. Goodbye. Uh, so we're going to start with an offset plane from here. That's going to be cube side. Ooh, I can't spell. Cube side, um, but not full. Only half, as we want to be in the middle. We're going to create our sketch on this plane we just created. And we're going to start with a rectangle. We're going to do a square, of course, with part of a cube. But I mean, rectangle is the tool. We're going to select the center rectangle and construction lines. These are just to help me. Cube side. Cube side. Like that. We got our dimensions in. Parametric, parametric uh, dimensions. And now I'm going to draw half, although, but like this sketch here. And to make it easy to myself, I'm going to sketch it outside here. Oops. Not construction lines anymore. And I want real lines. Over here, what I do now, I just hold down the mouse button and I can draw a beautiful arc and a sl small line back. 
And then I'm going to start over from here, here, down here, to here, and hold down the mouse button and do that arc. So we get tangent arcs. Immediately, I can do a couple of things. I know these two are going to be, uh, what do you call it, concentric. So these two are going to be concentric. It locks down a couple of dimensions here. And now, uh, I'm going to do a look over here. This part here is symmetrically placed on this side, or more simply said, midpoint to midpoint. So we're going to use midpoint constraints. Midpoint, uh, this line here to here. And we can start adding some dimensions already now. We're going to mention uh, this line here. That is going to be our tube uh, width. And uh, this here is going to be our tube side. And, uh, well, yeah, we're going to need a tube width here also, but we can do that another way. We can put a line to construction line from this corner to this corner and tell Fusion that uh, that line needs to be parallel to that. And because that this is a 45 degree angle, because it's, it's a square, this is a 45 degree angle, that means the distance here is the same as here. Now we're going to move this a bit in. This is now locked. Uh, concentric so we can tell fusion that this point needs to touch that and that one needs to touch uh, that and the final thing we need to do we tell it that the center point from ox that there is also supposed to be touching uh, that diagonal and by doing that if you can see here I can change the radius of the this is the radius here this arc and it stays like this now we're gonna have the dimension click here and we had a radius that's the tube radius and like that we should have let's open our sketch and check we have a fully defined sketch good and uh, there's one thing missing we need a line we're going to extrude this downwards so we need a line over here it's going to be not a construction line a normal line like that we will dimension from here to here like that and this is going to be the same dimension as this we're just going to click and pick it up like that and by that we should have everything we need have forgotten anything no that's, that's good let's finish sketch uh, start doing some extrude i hit e on the keyboard to start the extrude this profile and not upwards i want to pull downwards so minus tube uh, width like that and extrude this here we our extrude tube extrude but it's the wrong way, so we're going to put a minus sign in front. And by that, let's turn on our radius just to check. That looks good. Let's see if I've done the math correctly. It's still a join, so everything is joined together. Let's hide that for now. And let's hide our sketch. So now we've made one of the parts over here. So we're going to do now is a mirror, first of all. And select bodies. This body and the mirror plane is going to be this face here. And operation join as that immediately gives us two uh, gives one body let's open bodies instead of two bodies and uh, we're going to need an axis to do a circular pattern around so we're going to construct uh, axis through two points we're going to turn on our sketch and turn on our region and the point we want is the point here in front of a radius and our region point that's a good thing we have a region point in the middle we can make a nice axis to use and we'll do S for search and circular pattern of bodies, uh, this body, around this axis three times. Yes, please. To hide our sketch. And now we have three bodies. So we're just going to do a going to turn off a radian first. I'm going to do a window select, select all the bodies, and a combine. And by that, we have an ugly axis. We have our little part. And we can now try to change our parameters. Maybe we want to make it 100 millimeters. No problem. There's an interesting problem here. Uh, if you change, uh, it's not really interesting. <laughs> it's a result of the things I've designed. Uh, there's no control functions of this parameters right now. So we're going to do the tube to 25. Hint enter. I think we get a warning here because it can't solve this tube width and this tube radius. It doesn't add up. Hit OK and just undo to go back and modify our parameters we can do tube radius to 30 now we can add this up to 20 at least yeah when it touches itself and stuff like that and then we don't like that 15 
So this is how I I'm gonna go back with this now. Ten one hundred player on much it was eighty, sorry. <laughs> and that was twenty. So that is how I created the part to the left. And now it's on the right. And uh, with the fully defined sketch and parameters. It's not a perfect model, but yeah, hope that shows you some fun things to do and hope you enjoyed it. Take care, see you around and goodbye.